Hello everyone. I'd like to show you how to set up your bass amp. Of course, you'll have a different amp at home, but the controls should be similar. Probably not as complicated as this one. This is a professional level Galen Kruger, and um, this one is very flexible. You can get a lot of different sounds out of it. Um, I actually prefer the bass amp that we have at school that I think is a Fender Rumble 200. That has a beautiful, classic, vintage sound that I just prefer myself. But let's go ahead and zoom in on this one. First things first, we come on over here and of course you plug your bass into the input. Notice my volume level is pretty low. I definitely suggest you start like that so you don't have any surprises when you turn your amp on. Then we're gonna move over here to the main thing we wanna talk about, which is these four EQ knobs. Now, I would like to say though, you, you may have an output or a, or a gain knob, and if you do, I would just set that flat, meaning at 12 o'clock, and then we can talk more about gain in class. But right now, let's talk about these EQ settings. Notice that I have them right now all flat, 12 o'clock to start. I recommend you do that. Then, um, the, the sound that I recommend for you, the sound that, that um, I go for, for us in class, is that classic, that beautiful classic vintage sound that we hear on the old Motown records, we hear on funk, soul albums. And that will tend to be with a higher low end, that is a, a stronger low end. And so I'm gonna turn the bass up to about two o'clock here. And then the treble, I'm gonna take down to about 10 o'clock. Now we're left with these mid controls. I have a, a high mid and a low mid. So the low mid going with the, the low end, I'll turn that up a little bit, probably to about one o'clock. The high mid, I'll take that down to about 11. That gives you just a wonderful um, place to start for a, a great classic bass sound. Later on, you may find that depending on who you're listening to, um, you want a little more growl, a little more presence in the high end of your bass. Uh, some of the modern guys, uh, do that, in which case you would just reverse these. We would take the bass down to about 10, turn the treble up to two, and reverse the high and low mid. Low mid to about 11 and the high mid to about one. Um, that's not the sound I prefer, that's not the sound we go for in class, but that's definitely a viable sound that a lot of guys use. So I'm gonna go ahead though and, and turn these back to how we had them. Treble down to 10, bass up to two, low mid to one, high mid to 11. And I think that's a great place for you to start. You can also go ahead and plug your bass into the amp at home and, and go ahead, set it here, and then just make some adjustments. Go through each one of your strings and, and, and just adjust, seeing what you, you feel sounds best. But this is probably a great place to start. We'll see you in class.